Welcome back friends, welcome to Norway. This is the Nordic nature. We are on a different journey this time, having a road trip in Norway, working remotely, living in a van, and um, it's pretty nice. There's just so many damn beautiful places in this country especially at this time of year because everything is so green it's wonderful super relaxing Excited, Lam? Yes. We're leaving Tallinn, Estonia, and we are going on the ferry. No, we take the cruise. The cruise. It's called like the cruise. Okay, we did the um, self check in here at the terminal. Um, going to Sweden on the ferry. Quick, super nice check-in. Simple. Got the room number and Wi-Fi and everything. This is also the cult for the room. Yeah, that is. So we're just about to board. Board the ship. The shield maiden here has never experienced such a thing. I've always seen it from outside, but like, okay, we are getting on it. No. So about 10, it seems like they have arrived in Stockholm. Oh, we're already at the dock. All right, yeah, we got out from the terminal. It's like in the airport, pretty nice, pretty sweet. Easy access, um, easy access exit, and now we're just picking up an Uber um, and getting picked up. It's about 45 minutes drive up to the rental station where we pick up this van, so it's going to be nice. Are you happy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good. Nice weather, perfect temperature. Warm. <laughs> yeah. And um, it's good. It's really good. We are here, just arrived with an Uber, 
such a nice synchronicity. I mean, we keep getting synchronized with so many interesting people at this time. This guy that drove us, we had such a, an interesting conversation. So we talked basically about consciousness in general, the level of consciousness of, of people. And his story is insane. He's basically been a guy escaping the church of the, uh, the Scientology church, which is insane. So when he was younger, he escaped the States, United States. And he just saw the insanity of that crazy camp he was living in. Uh, basically escaping the camp with rope from a house. And um, yeah, got his family here, but you know, lost his um, two, two closest family members, basically killing themselves because of this sect. Um, and uh, talking about how he experienced you know, life and the madness of the COVID pandemic and um, struggling to really keep his calm, talking about the stupidity around that. Uh, yeah, people are waking up, which is good to see. All right, so we are here. We're going to pick one of these cars, these vans. We are going to hit the road to the north. Yeah, so we just got, a, I don't know, we spent an hour here getting really good feedback, um, some insights and um, having a rounded introduction of the car from outside to inside. Really, really good walkthrough, uh, but clear, nice instructions. Uh, really cool people to, to be in touch with for this kind of a, a journey. It is a hot day, so we have been packing, looking over how we can construct our stuffing of stuff behind. So I think we got packed up pretty nicely. Uh, I think we are ready to hit the road and leave. Touring cars for now, they have been super helpful, really nice, welcoming, and um, instructions and you know guidance on different important things regarding the whole contract and the rental and the car inside and outside. So. Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to the Nordics. Norway next. Right. We got our first stop already. We have been driving for about three hours, I guess. Something like that. But um, I got a team call in the US, so I really gotta get set up here. I'm kind of testing <laughs> my, my first uh, office hour here in the car. But yeah, it's nice. Good morning there. 
It's our first day in Norway. We just crossed the border late last night from Sweden. And um, we decided to just find a nice place to stop because it's still quite a few hours to drive down south to my hometown. Um, and we've got no rush with that anyway. So here we are. And um, we have these canals down here. And uh, there is a parking for vans just around the corner. You can pay for that. I don't want to pay and I don't need to park among a bunch of other campers. And since there was an open space here, we took it. Woke up pretty early um, because we're sleeping just by the highway or the main road, which is kind of noisy. Um, now we're just heading out to find some coffee and uh, we're going to brew some coffee here, have a break somewhere, get breakfast, maybe do some stretching and we will be on and it's just been wonderful to get back into this beautiful fresh Nordic nature and um, I'm feeling the energy coming back. We started, um, I guess we started our main journey today, in a way. So we just paid a visit to my cousin um, up on the countryside at an area I've talked about before. I considered that my home place. So we just came from there now, had some um, a talk, some campfire and uh, some music. And now we just finally um, drove off into the countryside in down kind of down south here in Norway looks like you found um, kind of a nice uh, place here we're just checking the ground to see if we can actually park sometimes it would be nice I mean this is an amazing van but it would also be nice to have <laughs> Especially in Norway, a uh, four-wheel drive and some uh, a little bit rougher tires. So, yeah. Okay, so we're kind of um, going to try to park here. And see if this is going to be a magical spot. I think so. Typical Norwegian nature. Huge view of the gigantic lake that we have stopped by. Okay, I think we found a good spot. Car is pretty level. Ground seems not too soft, so we are able to uh, probably turn around here tomorrow and uh, and um, get the car out safely. Are you happy with the spot, my love? Yes. Very okay. Nice.
We have arrived in uh, Rukang in Norway, kind of in the middle of the map, down south on the map. So Rukang was um, it was a place where there, there was a lot of activities with the Germans right, in the Second World War when we were taking over here. So this is where we have um, the big heavy water factory that became famous. There's a few movies made with that in Hollywood. So probably going to visit that old factory. Now we just drove out of the city trying to find a place with um, no people, not a camping, but just a, a stop and this seems to be a perfect place. Looks like a nice place here, you can see some people over here camping with some nice cars and we got an insane nice view here tomorrow morning when we open the doors. Yeah, we're having a break now for the night, relax, have some cooking and uh, are we doing some work? in my little office here and uh, maybe watch a movie tonight with my sweetheart. Hello lovely, what's Hello. going on? I'm making sushi. Okay. It's going to be very healthy, as always. Happy next day of our journey. We are on a Friday and we woke up to the most beautiful spot we have found so far. Right in front of a huge lake, green lawn, in front of our doorstep. And uh, it was a beautiful place to wake up today and have breakfast and have coffee and do some writing and little things. We are, um, we are trying out a different route today. We basically have no plan, we're just driving. As long as there's diesel, we have a, um, we can ride on. And um, we're trying out a mountain pass to see how that would be. Driving over the mountain pass, there's a spot here we can take this uh, inside the mountain, this um, cable car up to the top. Uh, and they actually have a coffee shop and stuff up here. So you can either do a hiking trail, or you can um, you can take this uh, cable car. So we want to try that today. Mm -hmm. We don't really have the clothing for Norwegian mountain hiking. All right, you got a ticket. Not not cheap, but uh, that's Norway.
So we're now deep into the mountains. It's actually almost like a river coming in here. This is like being in a computer game. invited into the top carriage got a complete walk through the history for this place that was super exciting yeah I didn't understand too much no <laughs> no he was speaking Norwegian but um, the last was built was it built in 1958 he said so uh, yeah a lot of history here and uh, it was intended for both military and and um, and people and the people and tourism afterwards so um, yeah, and it's a marvel of an engineering. It got some world fame for that. So, okay, so we are by the exit from the tunnel. My God, it's like being on the top of the world. Here we are. It's like being on another planet, actually. And uh, it's snowing. They said it was summer. Welcome to Norway, they said. It's summer. Warm, nice, sunny. Oh, here it's snowing. All right, we're heading for the top. That I'm so emotional. It's just damn fucking fresh up here. Can't see anything but rocks, which is nice. Less people, more peace. And they have a coffee shop, and coffee, and some waffles. Right, yeah, that was a nice day. <laughs> so we met this uh, lady for the Malamut again, and uh, she just arrived at the top. And you know, she's Norwegian, and she bought her food, and she would just sit outside in this lovely weather and have she her lunch. Outside? Yeah, she's gonna sit outside. Oh God! She, she brought her little tour package of some food. No, but it's um, 
it's worth a visit uh, up here and uh, I would say it's actually worth uh, paying for the for the um, the, the tunnel the, um, the tram line up yeah. it's a little bit expensive it's about fifty dollars no but a little bit less I would say yeah let's round it off fifty dollars yeah. and um, if you talk to the guy <laughs> running the <laughs> running this tram this little undersized little tram train going straight up 45 degrees in, to the mountains he's gonna talk like a school teacher <laughs> I got a full education guys for the, free yeah yeah super interesting also he knew his stuff and uh, so I ask you if you can sit in the front with him and uh, he's gonna tell you the world history of this place <laughs> an experience um, it's like going from summer to winter you know, just driving you know 20 minutes up the hill here but that's Norway on the top here it will be about right above 18 1,800 meters going through that old tunnel uh, up the hill that was super special to see the mountain in such a depth uh, you can say from the inside and then coming up to the mountain. We couldn't really see anything today of course but uh, it was nice to have a break there and um, have some coffee, uh, waffles and um, yeah just relax. Mm -hmm. 